All right, we're uh, we're out here at the Nashville. Uh, or sorry, start again. Um, good start. Yeah, good start. <laughs> How's it going, guys? We're out here in Nashville at the NHL Awards. Uh, you've got my brother Connor McDavid and the much more important Cameron McDavid here. Uh, we're going to spend a little quality time today, uh, just doing an interview, just the two of us. That's a tough one. It was probably me. It was probably for me. sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. you were you were the good boy for sure. Uh, working too hard and yeah, <laughs> Def definitely me. That's a no-brainer. That would be him for sure. He was so competitive when we were growing up. He wouldn't uh, like he wouldn't even play card games with me because uh, <laughs> he'd be scared he was gonna lose. Rock paper scissors was like a battle every time because <laughs> he wanted to win so badly. Big brother for sure. Yeah. Yeah, a couple like mini stick games where yeah. I think he got put flying into the put him through. <laughs> the, almost the, went through the window one yeah. time. <laughs> one of my favorites is anytime. Uh, a young Connor would get a, a gift that was like like a present or something. That was the funniest thing of all time because you just do not know how to hide your emotions. <laughs> like you don't know how to like fake and contain it. One time I opened up Game Boy and you like opened up your like fire truck and you were just like so pissed. <laughs> the person that gave you the gift knew immediately. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hilarious for me. So. Yeah. Oh, good. Well no kidding, you're getting Game Boys and stuff. There you go. Hell of a season, pal. Lots happened. You were uh, you were busy this year for sure. So many big moments. I you know I'll to, to bring out my phone just to, to rattle them off. Most points in a season in 27 years. Fastest to 60 goals in a season in 27 years. 700 career point mark. 800 career point mark. I was there for the 800. What a night. Um, and sixth player to win Art, uh, the Art Ross Trophy at least uh, five times, and, and most importantly, Cam McDavid's younger brother. Um, <laughs> what a what what a year you had! Funny to hear you say uh, all those things. Uh, obviously, we don't uh, usually talk to each other quite like that. So um, <laughs> it was a fun year. Um, we wanted to go a little bit further, obviously, um, and that'll come. But obviously, individually, it was really special. All right, we're going to go through some of the highlights uh, from this year. Uh, first one we got is the 700 point night, uh, and, and it was a hat trick too that night. You got to just take it to the next level, don't you? All right. All right, the power play, the power play is pretty good this year too. Yeah, you guys are great on power play. Nice pass from Leo. Nice. Oh, oh that didn't look like a nice word you said there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, I clearly like the play. That was good. Sweet Sally. <laughs> This is a great play from Kaner. I was, uh, uh -huh. he could have definitely put that one in, but with it being opening night, and, uh, well, yeah, um, seriously, with it being opening it's, night and that being the 700th point, it was, uh, it was definitely special. the easiest goal you ever scored or what? It's, de it's definitely <laughs> up there. You just set it up. For, it's definitely it up, up nice there, but, for you. yeah, it's definitely a good way to start the year for yeah. sure. Do you ever practice or think about your sellies before you do them? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I definitely do not That's practice. That's the right answer. I definitely sure. do not practice or think about celebrations. Um, yeah. It is totally just like what I feel, what comes yeah. to me. Sometimes I look back and I cringe, and then sometimes I look back and I'm like, well, that was, was pretty cool. That was all right. Yeah. That was yeah. all right. Yeah. So the feeling you get in your body right after you score, and especially when you score a big goal, it's a crazy feeling. And um, sometimes, really. sometimes yeah. you get it just right. So we're out here in Nashville in uh, in Music City. You and I have always had a, a big love of music together. How excited are you to be here and not have the pressure of the Preds uh, <laughs> uh, the, the next night? Just take it in. Part of the job in, in the NHL is you get to travel to some great cities, and this is definitely one of them. But like you said, there's always a game the next night, so you don't always get to enjoy it. But like you said, music has always been uh, something that has always brought our family together. We've done some amazing concerts, and, and those are some of the, the best memories I have. Do you remember your brief stint as a, as a musician? I came home late <laughs> night. We were in high school. I came up in, into my room and Connor's there on my laptop and he's got like garage band going. <laughs> I'd, I'd never seen him ever do something like this before. And he made this little like techno song. I had it on my iPad for years, but I lost it recently. Oh my smokes. God, it was a banger. You also had a, a, like a brief time where you, uh, you tried to play guitar. Remember that too? Did you? Uh... Yeah, I asked for a guitar for Christmas, and it was instantly your guitar yeah, within, it was great. within I, yeah, three weeks. It was perfect. So, yeah, I just um, got another guitar. Could have been worse. It could have been you having your bands come over. Oh God! Were... <laughs> oh, God. Don't do that. <laughs> um, my bro, my bro used to uh, produce um, 
some like high school bands, and uh, it was always interesting coming home from uh, from school seeing the cast of characters that were coming over that day. Sorry for putting you through all that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna do another highlight here. Um, do you think CCM uh, deserves an assist on this one? <laughs> Not a breakaway, and yeah. I uh, missed and uh, was quite uh, not pleased. Pleased, or, yeah. quite uh, not happy, and uh, decided I was going to take it out on my stick. How about that stick's durability? It took two yeah. significant <laughs> springboard collisions. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't happy. Thankfully, you know, CCM makes their sticks, so. Uh, so so durable um, that uh, it did great. Or you great. just gotta go to the gym a little bit more. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly, but yeah, I know the first time I touched the puck, I'm like, just praying that my stick wasn't gonna break. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, sure enough, it didn't, and got to score my 60th goal. You've been a captain of your team for a number of years now. Any advice for sort of young minor hockey league captains out there? My advice for young leaders, I guess, would be just to, be yourself. Nobody wants to feel like their leader is acting or fake or, or, or phony in any way. You know, I think just being yourself and lean into some of the hard conversations. It's the, the only way that things are, are going to get better. You know, growing up with you, I would have never thought, well, sorry, how, how do I say this right? Like, you, you're not the sort of like loud guy in the room. Like, you're kind of the more silent leader. Kind for of sure. Show, show it with your actions kind of thing. For sure. Or, for yeah. sure. I've always tried to lead by example, kind of first and foremost. I mean, I'm still on the quieter side and, yeah. and you know, that that, that uh, awkward kind of guy. So, um, but honestly, the, the dressing room has become a very uh, comfortable place for me now. And, yeah. and um, if I got to be that guy to yell or if I got to be there to pick somebody up, you know, I feel very comfortable in those situations. And there's room for everybody in our dressing room. And um, that means all different types of leaders and um, all different types of characters. So yeah, um, absolutely. It, it, takes, it takes everybody. All right, we're uh, we're going through another another highlight here, the uh, the sickest almost goal. <laughs> it's the on rushing McDavid right through Kovacevic to that track move. What a move! Warp speed activated from Connor McDavid. He just dangles through everyone. Other than uh, all the things that your older brother taught you, what uh, <laughs> what's going through your head? What are you thinking about? Well, it was years of doing these moves on you first. Okay, so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm just all right. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you know what's going through my head is is honestly uh, is not much. You're just playing on instinct. Um, yeah, yeah. You know when you're thinking too much out there, the game the game uh, the game is too fast and it, it passes you by. For so sure. your instinct was to do a 360 in the middle of the ice <laughs> around two. Yeah, guys. I'm not yeah, sure. right at the blue line too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good right. play. yeah. yeah. Real but, heads up. Yeah, it was a little bit risky, but sometimes it uh, sometimes it works out and. Um, you know, you'd like to you'd like to finish those ones off. I definitely taught you this, Benny, uh, the 360 there, so that, that came <laughs> yeah. for me. The winner of the Ted Lindsay Award and is... the winner of the Hart Memorial Trophy is... Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. This year, I think you were on a different level, and it looked like you, you worked so hard to do it, so I'm, uh, I'm super proud of you. So congrats again, and uh, thanks for uh, letting me do, do this with you. <laughs> Uh, you know, we spent a lot of time together, but uh, it's, it's not very often I have a bunch of cameras in my face. So yeah, yeah. no, 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 no you so. did uh, you did a great job. So yeah. really appreciate doing it, doing this with me. And um, yeah. yeah, no, thank you. It was lots Let's of fun. Go back to acting time. normally. Please. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs>